So the Art Museum opened in this building uh, in 2001. This was a new building um, created as an arts and humanities center. We've just recently received accreditation by the American Alliance of Museums, which um, uh, shows that we adhere to all the best practices of the museum profession. All of the pieces in this collection um, are documents of human creativity. They are um, cultural touch points. They teach us about the past. They have brought great beauty into the world. Um, and there's a great deal we can learn from them as original source material for the history of culture. I think the best way to come here is to be prepared to experience the, um, the sequence and the interrelationship of works as they're arranged in the galleries and walk through the entire space, um, spending a little time in each of the rooms and then taking time to return to the pieces that are most interesting. Looking carefully is really a key to experiencing this museum. Great art can be transformational. So I'm always very pleased to see people who, um, whose attention is riveted on a, on a piece that, uh, that fascinates them. We have uh, usually four exhibition changes during the course of the, of the year. Certain works we like to keep out because they're popular favorites. Probably our best known painting is our uh, King Philip by Thomas Hart Benton. One of the things that we try to do with the collection here is to use it in uh, courses across the university curriculum. So we, you know, we welcome visits from classes in any, in any discipline. St. Joseph College was founded in 1932 and five years later the Reverend Andrew J. Kelly made a substantial gift from his collection to the university. That gift was joined in 1966 by a bequest from the Reverend John J. Kelly, no relation to Andrew, but the two were lifelong friends and collected works by many of the same artists. And the two priests gave their collections with the purpose of educating students. So this university has had a substantial art collection, very fine collection for many years. So from um, a collection of wonderful pieces that were displayed in the library and in classrooms, we now have a focused professional museum. And that's, that's unusual for a university of our size. People come because we, in some ways, we fill a niche between the larger museums, such as the Wadsworth Athenaeum Museum of Art and the New Britain Museum of American Art. And in addition, um, we're always free of charge, and we believe in making our collection as accessible as possible. So even if something is not on public view, we're happy to make an appointment with someone to, uh, to come see it.